let's address the elephant in the room. Tiredness, feeling frumpy, stress, moodiness, all this stuff. People are so quick to go and blame blood results or low iron or low this, low that. And you don't stop to think that maybe, maybe, just maybe, just maybe. It's the fact that your stress levels are so high. It's the fact that your sleep patterns are screwed. It's all of these other lifestyle factors that actually have a bigger input than anything else that could be going on. Because here's one thing that people really, really seem to miss out on. Stress in itself has a whole cascade of downstream effects that come with it. Your stress, if it is chronically high, if it's just up here, it's the stress that's going to lead to any of the other things that show in your blood results, like iron, like all of these other vitamins, because stress depletes so many of your vitamins, so many of your minerals. It, it even depletes your rational thinking, which is probably why you can't even seem to fathom that, oh, maybe it's the stress that's making me so tired. Maybe it's my stress and my really, really poor sleep patterns right now that are making me feel this way. That's just something to remember. So before you go stressing about why this and that is happening, just think of the big rocks. How's your food? How's your water? How's your sleep quality as well as quantity? How's your mindset? All those things play the biggest role in whatever's showing on the top. And on the call today, my mentor, said this really 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 good quote it's like when you shoot someone with a bullet first thing you go to check is if the if the bullet went out the other end but if the bullet's stuck inside are you just going to put a band-aid on top of it and leave the bullet there no you need to actually get the bullet out first that's the same with the stress like you're not going to just try and say oh it's saying that I'm low in iron or it's saying that I'm low in this I'm just going to take these vitamins and just leave it as it is. Because that's going to do jack shit. If anything, it's going to have worse downstream effects later on. And it's just covering up the fact that you're stressed as fuck. <laughs> so, address the actual root cause first. Instead of worrying about what band-aids to put on top. 